I was out for about 13 days. That was the first time I'd ever been on the DL. So for me, it was weird being around baseball, but not playing. So, um, you know, it, it sucked, to be honest. And it sucked to, you know, just be on the bench and kind of just be a cheerleader the whole time. So once I got out there, I kind of had a little bit too much adrenaline in the first inning. I uh, walked a couple guys my first inning. But, you know, uh, really started the second inning, I kind of settled down and, um, you know, felt like I didn't even miss anything. Did the disruption in your routine Team have any effect on once you got past that adrenaline rush? I mean, it, it looked like by your numbers that you really didn't miss a beat. Yeah, no, I was fine. Uh, you know, I threw two bullpen sessions uh, in between while I was on the DL, and um, you know, I felt fine. When I came back, I'd worked out multiple times and and ran, you know, in front of our trainer, and and everything was fine. So, really, once I got on the mound, I was just happy to be out there and ready to, you know, compete and kind of get that adrenaline going again. Now, you were on your way with Norfolk, uh, heading back to Norfolk from a road trip, and you found out you were coming up. Were you surprised? Uh, a little bit. You know, we we had just landed in. Atlanta and we had another connecting flight to go back to Norfolk and uh, you know I didn't know anything and actually my girlfriend was the one who told me you know hey they had uh, TBA for announced for Thursday starter or Wednesday starter and all and uh, you know that just kind of made me think a little bit and then once I got off the flight uh, Ron Johnson told me and then everything just kind of clicked. So you go into the start against the Tigers you're up against Justin Verlander will it be easy to just be Kevin Gossman you're making your debut you're, you're sure have that adrenaline rush that you had off the DL in the minor leagues. But again, it's another game, even though it's an important game for you. Yeah, you know, it's definitely going to be a little different. It, I think anytime you come up and you make that first start of the year um, at this level, you're going to have, you know, a little bit extra adrenaline. And obviously against Verlander in this lineup, um, I, I think I'll be a little amped up. But I think I've kind of learned myself well enough where I can I, I know when to kind of step off the mound and take a couple deep breaths and then just get back up there and refocus. And because you know you're such a big part of the future of this franchise, you don't have to look at this as an audition, right? You just go out and do your job. Yeah, you know, I feel good about where I'm at and uh, you know I had a great spring training had a great season so far so really I'm just going to try to keep doing what I've been doing down there and that's uh, you know pounding, pounding the strike zone in and out um, you know uh, mixing in really well and uh, just trying to keep these guys off balance.